In this video, I will show you how to do chi-square goodness of fit test in Jamuvi using two different ways. Chi-square goodness of fit test method one in Jamuvi. Chi-square test is used when there is one categorial variable. This categorial variable can have two levels in it, uh, such as life dead or male or females, or it can have multiple levels in it, such as professions, doctor, dentist, scientist, and pharmacist. So in this case, the variable is called nominal variable. And also the chi-square can be used for single ordinal variable. The test will determine whether there is a significant difference between observed frequencies compared to expected frequencies. And the hypothesis will state whether there is equal proportion or not equal proportion. Here in Jamovi data view, I have a categorical variable that have 200 cases in it. There are four professions in this uh, categorical variable. So there are four levels, doctor, secretary, pharmacist, and nurses. To determine whether there is a significant difference between the observed frequencies compared to expected frequencies, then chi-square goodness of fit test will be performed. First of all, let's look at some descriptive data. To do that, click on exploration, click on descriptive, select profession move it to variable change the descriptive variable across rows and tick on the frequency table and for statistics no changes here or no selections so this table on the right hand side shows that there are 200 cases and the frequencies for each level within the categorical um, variable is given in the second table as shown here the doctors have 34 counts secretary 54 and nurses 70. to do the chi-square for single variable click on frequencies scroll to in outcomes chi-square goodness of fit test in this new window select the profession and move it to the variable tick on the expected count and click on the expected proportion the table in the right hand side shows that the observed count for all the four levels and the expected count for all the four levels so the expected counts have an equal proportion or equal percentage or equal number 50 for each level and with this test where the expected count is of an equal probabilities the chi-square result is shown in the table here the value for the test is 14.7 degree of freedom equal to n minus 1 n is the levels of the categories which is 4 minus 1 equal to 3 and the p-value is less than 0.05 so this test shows that there is a significant difference between observed frequencies compared to expected frequencies we could also set the expected counts at certain proportion or percentage 
by changing the ratio here let's set that the doctor uh, expected counts for the doctor to, to present 10% i.e. portion is 0.1 click enter for the secretary 0.2 click enter for pharmacist 0.3 click enter and for the nurses 0.4 click enter as shown here in the right hand side the chi-square test has been rerun and the expected count has been set at the proportion or the ratio ratio inserted in this area here and for the doctor it is 20 cases for secretary 40 pharmacy 60 and nurses 80 and for the goodness of fit test the chi value chi square value is 21.4 and the p value is less than 0.05 so there is a significant difference between expected and observed frequencies chi square goodness of fit test in jamuvi using a second method here in this jamuvi data view variable the first one is the categorial that have four levels in it doctor secretary pharmacist and nurses and frequencies or the count for each one of these level to perform chi square goodness of fit test click on frequencies scroll down to in outcomes uh, Kai's goodness of fit test and then in this new window move the jobs into the variable and the frequency into the count and then take on the expected counts and take on the expected proportion um, as shown here in the right hand side table the count observed count for the doctor is 34 and for secretary is 54 and all the expected count has equal proportions or percentage or count so the test will examine the hypothesis that there is an equal proportion for the expected value the second table shows the value for the chi-square which is 14.7 and the degree of freedom which is equal to n minus 1 n is the level of uh, um, or the levels within a, a categorical variable which is 4 minus 1 equal to 3 and the p-value is less than 0.05 so this test shows that there is a significant difference between observed count compared to expected count when the hypothesis state that there is equal proportion looking at the left section here the expected value can be set at a certain proportion so the hypothesis can be tested that there is an unequal proportion and that to do that let's set up that the doctor expected count or percentage is to be 10 percent 0.1 for the secretary 0.2 for the pharmacist 0.3 which is 30 percent and for the nurses 40 percent as shown here in the right hand side the first table shows that the values or the count had been changed so for the doctor the expected count is 20 now and for secretary 40 and for pharmacist 60 and for nurses 80 and the chi square value is calculated to be 21.4 and the p value is less than 0.0 five so this chi square goodness of fit test under the hypothesis 
of unequal proportion for the expected value shows that there is a significant differences between observed count and expected count so this is the way to perform chi-square goodness of fit test in Jamovi.